Yo, what's up, bro? How are y'all doing, man? It's been a minute. Too long, in fact. So I had to, I, look. I got a newsletter that's coming out so soon, but I can't. I couldn't wait. I had to talk to y'all. It's been too long. I've been doing hella reactions. So I want to actually get behind the camera and speak to y'all. So first off, comment below. How you doing? Okay, what are you doing to see you today? All right. Now, if you having some problems, then that's where I come in, okay? So today, I just want to talk about energy, okay? Now, look, my newsletter is, is going to get very deep into this topic, but I, I can't help myself. I want to talk to y'all. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it, just to, just to sprinkle a little bit of some knowledge on what I'm talking about from the newsletter, and then that's it, all right? With energy, though, Specifically, the energy that we all carry. We don't think we do what we do. Now, here's my here's my quote. I'm a, I'm gonna start this off by saying this: Your energy speaks before your words do. Okay, now I know that's a cold line. Go ahead, write it down. I know your energy speaks before your words do. Now, what does that mean? And why is that important? Why why am I even talking about this? The energy that you have with other people is just a direct reflection of the energy you have within yourself. When you're in conversations with other people, they don't just hear your words. They can feel your vibe intuitively. That's why when you you can meet a stranger and instantly be thrown off by their vibe and their whole aura because something's off. It's because your energy speaks. Look, here's the thing. Your energy speaks louder than the words that you say. People can feel your energy a lot more than they hear the words that you say. And the way that you cultivate this, right? Talking to you, listen, the way that you cultivate this is simply by loving yourself. Now I know it may sound cliche, but look, hear me out. If energy that you have with other people is a direct reflection of the energy you have with yourself, because you can't give what you don't already have. If you're giving out negative energy, you already have it within yourself. So how do you change this? How do you how do you change this negative vibe that you may be having or interactions with other people? You got to change how you you see yourself. Everything is internal. Like the outer is just a reflection of the inner. Okay? Now maybe in a little too voodoo, a little too spiritual. Hey, it is what it is, my guy. I don't care. It's something that you need to think about because not too many people are talking about how important it is to love yourself. And people that do, they may not be talking about how to do it correctly. So the way that I love myself is by, one, I tell myself. Two, I show myself. So I will tell myself I love myself. Like I would look, I would like pretend you are in the mirror. I'd be like, Miles, I love you. And I'd be like, dang, I feel good all of a sudden. It's that simple. Like, I love, like, you, you just say it. But two, you gotta mean it though. And you mean it. And the more that you do it, the more that your energy, like, the more that this, this energy that I'm talking about, right? This aura that you have will protrude for other people to feel. People will feel that self-love, that self-assurance, that confidence, that unconditional confidence, that radiating energy that people will feel that because you've cultivated that. You, Our cores are like a seed and the words that we say are the water that springs our core, our energy to life. The only way that we could cultivate it is by actively working on ourselves. Practice self-love, man. Like. Be good to other people. You'll meet good people. You'll be surrounded by good people because you have that good energy within yourself. And just know that like, if, if life is not going the way you think it should be, just know you can change it too, my God. Like, you people don't give themselves enough credit or enough power. Like, I tell myself two things. One, I tell myself only good things happen to me. I just got a flashbang, my fault. <laughs> my little, my, uh, my video if you haven't seen it just go check that out you know what i'm saying quick little shameless plug but anyway i told myself two things i told myself one 
only good things happen to me. And two, that I am a master manifester of my reality. Why are these two important things to say? Because I always have an optimistic outlook on, on the world. I always have good energy, right? So I always have good energy. So that means good things will come into my life because I already have it within myself. I don't need any external validator to make me happy, bro. Shawty's out here getting BBLs. You got people out here breaking their legs to be taller. People trying to live the lifestyle on Instagram or social media, cars, money, the fat, like the, the the fame, all the external validators just to just to feel good about themselves or self worthy. The power is within. You don't need to seek it from anybody else. You already have it. Everything exists in the now. Okay, now I know I'm sounding a little too. I may I may be throwing some of y'all off, but just let me let me break this down for you. Everything exists in the now, okay? Nothing exists in the future. So anything that you want in the future, you can you already have it now. You just just waiting on time to catch up with what you have, okay? Your vibration. I know I'm signing I may sound a little spiritual, but if you think about it, we all are spiritual, whether you want to believe it or not. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Okay? Other than that though, just know that. The way that you cultivate the energy or the way that you cultivate a good life is just by cultivating a wonderful relationship with yourself. Nothing will throw you off your square because you know who you are. You love who you are and you accept who you are. And you want to grow and transform every day to be a better version of you. In one of my newsletters, I said it's like a, we're like, we're all like iOS systems. If you got Android, you got the picture. But look, all my iPhone users, Android systems, okay? Not, now we say Android systems. For all my iPhone users, we are iOS updates. And there may be some trials and tribulations that allow us to update our life, update ourselves to be a better version of ourselves. Use that opportunity to grow, to learn, to, and to help other people along the way too. And you'll be good. But yeah, just, just, that's something I wanted to say. I'm not going to make this video too long. Just know that takeaways I said from this video, your energy speaks before your words do, and your energy speaks louder than your words. That's one. Two, the energy you get out is a reflection of the energy you already have within. Everything exists from within. It can't exist from the outer if it never existed from the inner. I only believe that good things happen to me. I'm a creator of my reality anything in this world i want i can get it and i will get it you gotta have that energy for yourself you gotta have the energy for other people and you meet good people by being a good person so that's just something i want to say my little ted talk for today i hope y'all enjoyed this video i feel, feel good like actually talking to y'all again let me know what's going on with y'all if i got any questions too any topics i want me to talk about if i know anything about it i'll talk about it if i know anything about it i'm not gonna speak on it but yeah, just drop something down below. I'll get my, my take on it. And I, don't, I, gotta, I gotta get back behind the camera, man. I miss it. Like, videos like this, where I'm just behind the, the computer, it's cool, but it's nothing like this. Like, I actually feel like I'm talking to you. Like, I'm, I'm right there with you. You feel me? So it's, it's different. But other than that, I'm gonna stop yapping. Like, comment, subscribe, roll to 1K, man. All the daydreamers, I might call y'all daydreamers. That's kind of hard, huh? It's because we see the day daydreamers. That's kind of that's kind of tough. I gotta think about that. I've been thinking about that daydreamers. So that's kind of. I might call myself day two, day. That's, that's kind of tough. I mean, anyway, man, I like the video. Subscribe to it. If you haven't seen this video, go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter. And just wait till my next newsletter drops. This is going to go very deep into this topic. So with that being said. I appreciate y'all, and I'm out, bro.